the Elizabethtown couple that lost their two children just days apart is breaking their silence. Tonight in a WLKY exclusive, Tanya and David Taylor opened up about their loss and a proposed law targeting repeat DUI offenders, a law the couple believes could save lives. Lauren Adams has the story. She was going to join a sorority. She was definitely going to rush. And it was already paid for, and her t shirt was ordered. And her but 17 year old Brianna Taylor never made it to college. Just weeks after her high school graduation, on the way to a sleepover, she is killed by a suspected drunk driver, a man with six prior DUI convictions. 13 days later, her older brother, 20 year old Bryce, will die as a result of an ATV accident. He had been on his way home from a memorial service for his baby sister. Hardest thing I've ever dealt with in my life. To lose two separate tragedies, um, unheard of. Tanya Taylor and her husband David are now behind legislation targeting repeat DUI offenders. Thanks in part to their testimony Thursday, Senate Bill 34 is one step closer to becoming law. Senator Dennis Parrott wants to increase penalties for drunk drivers convicted multiple times over a 10 year period rather than the current five-year period. We're fighting for this 10 years. And uh, if that would have been in place, I wouldn't have been there today. I would not wish anyone to go through what we've had to. The Taylors are getting by thanks to memories, their family, but most of all, faith. David Taylor believes in this legislation and the power of prayer. That one car, to be able to take that off the road, I think can save a whole lot of lives. But it's up to the man upstairs to take care of this. And while Brianna's name will never appear on a college diploma, it could appear on something bigger. If passed, the law becomes the Brianna Taylor Act, a bittersweet accomplishment for her parents. We are doing what we need to do to prevent this happening again to someone else. Senator Dennis Parrott from Elizabethtown is sponsoring the bill. He tells me he was outraged months ago when he learned Michael Hilton, the suspected drunk driver, would be charged with a DUI first for the crash that killed Brianna, even though it was his sixth offense, all because it had been five years since his last DUI conviction. The senator tells me tonight he feels confident about Senate Bill 34 becoming law, and that could happen as early as this July. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Thank you, Lauren. Hilton faces manslaughter and driving under the influence charges for the June crash that killed Brianna Taylor. His trial was set for the second week in March, but it's been delayed.